Hello there, Jeff with the Big Shooters channel. Thanks for tuning in. Today I want to introduce you to a segment of firearms that I and many others enjoy. This is a short barrel rifle, particularly a Ruger 1022 pocket rifle. If you like the looks of this, stick around. Pocket rifles, as they're often referred to, um, are called such because they're so tiny that they can fit in a pocket. Um, it's not going to fit in your pants pocket, but if you're, if you're a hiker, uh, or if you spend any time in the woods, or if you have a, a pack that you carry, maybe a pack rifle would be, would be a better name. This is a small package for a Ruger 1022. Now, these used to be uh, a little trickier to make years past, but since Ruger introduced their pistol, the Charger, it's made manufacturing these an awful lot easier. This is a 1022 rifle, and I replaced the barrel with the Ruger Charger barrel. And it's just a simple drop-in conversion, so you don't have to have somebody cut and properly thread the barrel for you. That work is done by Ruger. My pocket rifle, I accessorized with a Butler Creek folding stock, because if I was going to spend the money to make it uh, a short barreled rifle, I don't want to have a long, long stock on it. It kind of defeats the purpose to me. So I cut down a Butler Creek stock to fix. Um, all I did is wrap the metal with 550 cord. Um, I like the 550 cord anyway, and it's much more comfortable on your cheek. I've added uh, Bushnell Holocyte on it and a Silencer Co. Sparrow sound suppressor. So even with all these accessories, you still have a rifle that's a reasonable length and really performs like a champ. If you would like to have a short barreled rifle, you can either purchase one in this configuration or you can make it yourself. If you can legally own a handgun, you can own a short barreled rifle. And it's a simple matter of filling out a BATF Form 1, sending in a check for $200, and you will you'll be registering your rifle as a short barreled rifle, and then the barrel length and the overall length doesn't matter anymore. Now, short barreled rifles aren't for everybody. Some people uh, won't appreciate or, or won't understand or don't see the benefit in spending $200 just to save a few inches of barrel or overall length. Uh, but those that do enjoy them, it, uh, compared to the price of, of machine guns and other NFA firearms, um, these are so inexpensive to purchase and, and modify and deal with um, that, that it's almost a pleasure to deal with them. They're a lot of fun to shoot. They're lightweight. They're very helpful for young shooters because you don't have all that extra weight on the nose of it. And, um, and, and they still do perform very, very well. As a matter of fact, let's spend a little bit of time on the range and uh, see how this one will do. A 22 long rifle with a Ruger Charger pistol barrel. So let's see how we do with 25 yards. Let's have a peek. Now what are some situations where the reduction in length would be helpful? People often uh, equate longer barrels with greater accuracy. And while that may typically be the case, it isn't always the case. And we're actually going to do a series of videos soon showing some pretty amazing performance out of some very, very short barrels. So performance, that, that's not one thing that I really uh, consider losing when I go with a pocket rifle. Um, the overall length is nice. If you do backpack, um, especially spend any amount of time, small, short, and lightweight is fantastic. If you've been in the military uh, or if you spend a lot of time carrying a load like a pack, you'll know that ounces uh, 
equal pounds. And uh, anytime you can get rid of a little bit of weight, as well as make more room in your pack for other things, that can only be a good thing. Uh, to utilize or to have in a vehicle, uh, something that's this size, especially without the suppressor, is much, much easier to maneuver uh, than, a, than a full length long rifle. So there, there are some benefits to them other than uh, the simple fact that you don't really need a reason. Isn't it beautiful to live in America? You don't need a reason. Um, you can just want one. And, uh, and I've wanted one of these for a long time. Same drill so, at 50 yards. And I'm not going to mess with the uh, elevation at all. So we're going to see exactly what the shift is between 25 yards and 50 yards. See how she looks. Well, due to the wonderful advantages of modern technology and slow buffering memory cards, whatever the hell that is, um, the camera shut off down here. But I can show you the target. Looks like we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight hits in here. And I've got a couple sight ins around it, so I don't know where I threw what, but I've got two out. Um, but that's pretty good. Uh, it still needs to come a little bit more to the right, and I think I'd like to go back to 100 and maybe 200, but I'm not going to be able to do it today. You see, our legislature is still in uh, session, and today they've got workshops on bills that allow permitless concealed carry in the state of Maine, and then a few other bills that we have to fight against that are maybe not, um, not so good. So I've got to head to the Capitol for today. Um, and we'll come back and we'll explore this pocket rifle after. I hope that you enjoyed the video. If you did, please share it with your friends, like the video, and subscribe to the channel. And until next time, have fun and be safe. <laughs>